Today is Friday the 13th, September 13th. And uh, thought I'd go down. I found my rack rub at Bass Pro Shops down in Auburn. Uh, so I thought I'd slip in, check the trail cams on that uh, licking branch that I put up, and put my rack rub on that. So it's just going to be short and sweet today. So come on along and we'll see what's happening down here in the woods. All right, I'm at the Licking Branch Trail Cam. It's right over here. I got six photos on there. I got at least two bucks that I can tell from me looking on the small screen on my Nikon camera. But I'll, put, I'll add the pictures to this video so you can see exactly what we got. That's in eight days, a little over, a little over seven days, eight days. So let me show you my setup over here. I gotta turn the camera around. All right, here's my truck camera. And here is the licking branch. And I'm gonna back this off now. And the mock straight. And I put a scent wick up here with some dominant buck urine. All that's going to do is going to put the scent in the air so any deer that's coming up down under this will smell it and come over to check this out. But we've already got deer working this looking branch, so I'm going to build another one over there towards my ladder stand and see if I can get them going from one to the other. So. All right, folks, here's my ladder stand. And I'm just gonna pan over here. And here's another mock scrape with my overhanging branch with rec rub on it. I can't walk over to it now because I've already got the trail camera all armed and ready to go. But you can see my wick is right there, soaked in buck urine. Had to put my trail camera a little lower than what I like. And I had tilled it down using a stick, but that should work just fine. So I had uh, I had a couple deer pictures on there. Couldn't tell what they were. I'll check it out when I get home on the computer. So let's go check number three. All right, as you can tell, I'm back home, sitting on my back deck. I downloaded the pictures, and there's a there's a couple decent bucks there. Nothing really to write home about, but. In my last season, I probably lowered my standards just a little bit. You know, I'd kind of like to pack some back straps in that uh, motorhome when we head down south and uh, have some good meals out on the road. So, but uh, I probably will not go back in there uh, until the the bow opener on October one. I want, you know, I'm sure that I'm going to have good buck activity in the oaks by that ladder stand uh, where my second uh, licking branch is and second mock scrape. So just putting that uh, code blue rack rub on that is going to increase the visits there, I'm sure. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll climb up in that ladder stand there on opening morning and just sit there and we'll see what the world brings by. The, uh, everything's done. Uh, quite frankly, the other, the other area over towards my north field stand, I had 105 pictures on it where the licking branch had seven and then uh, in front of my stand had uh, five photos. So the other area has got more deer traffic. There was a nice looking nine point, which I'll, I'll put a picture up here. So you guys can see that too. But there's a really nice looking nine point there. He's not a monster buck, but I'd definitely be happy to put a tag on him. 
at the Licking Branch there was an eight point that's still in velvet and uh, he's a small basket rack but his rack is kind of unique so I wouldn't mind tagging him either I think so lower the standards uh, maybe go out my final year with uh, with a tag on a buck but I am definitely going to take camera into the tree this year so I've got my uh, a camera arm I guess you call them and it's just a cheap one it's not a high quality thing so but I but I think that'll work for what I want to do so hope you're enjoying uh, the series so far and uh, just keep watching uh, I hope it's going to get interesting so thanks for watching see you later bye